we're awful proud to release this thing. I think you're going to enjoy it. And if you'll bear with us for an hour and a half, we're ready to hear some good music. Jesse, are you ready to come on out? It's Jesse Veter with her Northern Lights CD. <laughs> all of you guys. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you, Dad, for that introduction. You felt pretty important there for a second, didn't you? <laughs> you are important. I'm so excited to play these songs for you. I can't even tell you. We put our, uh, I put my heart and soul to it, like, into it like I always do. Um, but I've got some great musicians backing me tonight. And um, I just uh, look forward to telling the stories. And thank you so much for coming. I know we have some people in overflow seating. Uh, so hello. I hope I look OK on the TV screen. <laughs> I wore black because it's slimmy. <laughs> But you know, I've been, for those of you who have been reading my column, or maybe the, for the first time coming to a show of mine ever, I've been in North Dakota singing since I was just a little girl. I grew up on the, on the edge of the Badlands and watched people come and go and uh, fall in love with the place, uh, grow up there. Um, I've always been inspired by the landscape, and I've been writing music since I was 12 years old. I'm, th thank you. <laughs> I'm 32 now, 31. <laughs> I'm not 32 yet. I'm almost 32 years old, and it's fun to listen to how my music has evolved, but it's always about the people. And I wanted to start out with this uh, song, um, because I think as we grow older, when we're younger, we think that things are just gonna work out perfectly and nothing's gonna hurt us because we've never been hurt before. And as we get older, uh, life can kind of be mean, can it? And sometimes it kind of slap you down unexpectedly. But the best part about getting uh, knocked down is getting back up, just like my dad told me when I fell off all those horses. <laughs> so this is a song, this is a song called It Ain't Easy. She rose up from that dirt road where she fell off of that big horse Left a bit of skin from knuckles and her knees But not a tear fell from her, not a single scared emotion Except for a kick and a gritting of her teeth Oh, it ain't easy Up behind her, said in this world I could not find her. Another girl is brave and strong and free. You know when you fall, I catch you in. When you're lost, I bet you if all you are, you won't even need me. Oh, it ain't easy. No. Oh, it ain't. Another way, if we weren't scared as hell, it's not living anyway. Let the hard times in, let them make us pray. Wouldn't want to learn a lesson any other way. He said behind those brown eyes is a woman who still loves him looking at a man who would not let her down he said when you fall i catch you and when you're lost i bet you all you and i cry i cannot bear the sound oh it ain't easy no oh it ain't the way it ain't just muscles on these roads all the dirt cake face 
of hope. It's the fight, the breath, the beat, the kind of hope that brings it to your feet. woman took her last breath and he took a breath right with her in that room he said all good things go softly like a wave into the ocean like a snowflake on a sunny afternoon oh it ain't easy one of those songs that I wrote on one of those long cold winter nights where you're just like okay enough already right trying to find a way to pull yourself up in February and uh, look on the sunny side of things um, but a lot of these songs are written in my living room or on the floor of my um, my room in the back where all my stuff is piled all my photography equipment all my writing all my guitars all everything that's Jesse just like threw up and exploded in there my husband opens the door, peeks in, and then just shuts it. <laughs> but some of the songs uh, I write when I have, have momentum, when you're walking and, and marching through, through uh, my favorite pastures on the place. And this in particular song was written on the back of a horse. And sometimes uh, when I was growing up and a little girl, my favorite thing to do was ride. Um, I had a little mare named Rindy. She was a red mare. She was kind of fat and stout, and she kind of waddled like this. And um, we got along pretty well. Uh, argued a little bit, but that's what women do, right? And uh, <laughs> uh, so I still like to do that, just uh, take a ride and, without anybody around me and just kind of get lost in your thoughts and smell the clover. And um, this song uh, was written on the back of a horse named Rocky, and he has wild hair like me, and so we get along. And um, I was kind of listening to the rhythm of the way that he was walking and thinking how when I think of home, I think of horses and how that must be interesting for those of you who grew up between sidewalks and you think of home, you think of something else. But isn't it interesting how uh, what horses mean to me is what home means to me and how they all go together um, and how the two go hand in hand and they even start with the same letter. So then I thought maybe I should write a song. And so I wrote this one. This is called Horses and Home. It's a little familiar, a little bit wild A big dream in the wandering eyes of a child soul of the secrets wrapped up in the land and all that we know about the pride of a man it's letting What's left to lose at the end of a fight? Seeing a prayer before him the ground. When you need to be gone, it's where you, where you can be found. That's how it goes with horses and home. It's 
Stirred under nails and work left to do It's fist clenching, back breaking things that can move It's broke bits and bars and get back up again Someone friend And that's how it goes And that's how it goes With horses And home Just who's been saved when we let go of the rain? Forgiveness and bravery on trembling knees And then there's a the part where you think you might be Stronger than most And a little A little more free with horses and home. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can tell you what a treat it is for me to stand up here with guides like this and play music for people like you. So thank you so much for coming. I know there's gardening to do and things to be planted. <laughs> I know we all have stuff. But it didn't hurt that it rained a little bit, so you could come, come over. Um, on this new album, you'll see, and we're going to sell them after the show, of course. Some of you might even have your own pre-ordered signed copy. Um, some of you might have got it on iTunes. It's there. Um, but it was really fun to take the music that I wrote sitting in my living room and uh, my kitchen and my cr crazy back room that no one wants to go into and uh, bring it to Nashville and work with an uh, amazing person who has not just has connection but a real passion for for the work that he does and the artists that he represents. And um, he really took this album to the next level and, and we got some great musicians on it. There's great musicians here then that can take that and uh, music and interpret it and, and play it uh, on my home turf, which I really appreciate. Um, so I'm excited for you to hear it. It's really uh, some fun stuff going on and a lot of fiddle and um, banjo. Pops is gonna try the banjo later, so that'll be fun. <laughs> I made him play it in my, one of my music videos, so you'll get to see him sitting on a bucket. And uh, actually, just <laughs> picking on the banjo, I said, don't wear your overalls, because that's not the look I'm going for. But just like the two days before, he fell out of the tractor. It's not funny. Uh, but he fell out of the tractor and hit his tailbone really hard on the step. <laughs> so he's walking around the farm going, oh, my butt. <laughs> And then I said, it's fine, you're fine. You can sit on this bucket and play the banjo. It's just going to be like a half an hour or something. Suck it up. And it was just stand up. So now they know. <laughs> they don't care? Oh, okay. I thought it was funny. Um, but they're laughing at you. <laughs> uh, 
But sometimes when you're out there, you know, Western North Dakota is a completely different animal these days from what I what I grew up uh, in. I mean, my my best friend and I used to be able to drive our bikes down the center line of the highway and kind of weave through those those lines. And that's not something that's going to happen uh, anytime soon again for us. The bike riding or uh, the riding down the center of the, the highway. And it's pretty amazing to see a home change like that so quickly. Quickly, And some days around the ranch, it's really quiet. And you can, you, you, it's kind of like the old days, you know, the pumping units are pumping and things are going smooth. And then some days big old tankers come down the road and get stuck between your place and the, uh, and the farmstead and you can't go, you have to go out like five miles around because they're in the mud. <laughs> and those days I think, I need a boat. I need a boat that just kind of sails me out, out of this place until things quiet down and I can just sail right back on the prairie, back in. So that's what this song is about. This is a prairie girl that has a song called The Boat Song. <laughs> I hear the dogs are barking, someone's pulling in the yard. Sometimes they think they know more than we do. If I had my way, no one be knocking at my door. If I had my way, there'd be no one but you. So I think I need a boat out in the middle of this place. We could sell out all the land and build a ship to outer space. Sick of counting cars, let's count some stars and tally up the waves. Oh, I think I need a boat. I think I need a boat. Let's build us a boat and sail away. I picked you because I like the quiet way you nod. Shake your head at funny things I do. All the other boys in town just talk and talk and talk. If I had my way, there'd be no one but you. So I think I need a boat out in the middle of this place. We could sell out all our land and build a ship to outer space. Sick of counting cars, let's count some stars and tally up the waves. Oh, I think I need a boat. I think I need a boat. Let's build us a boat and sail away. It's on in all the houses, faces blue from TV screens. Horns honk on the freeway, ears and telephones they ring. And I wasn't made for movies, I wasn't made for sidewalks, I wasn't made for fast cars, I wasn't made for fast talk. I wasn't made for big plans, all the promises they make. I was made for you to take me on a boat to outer space. I think I need a boat out in the middle of this place We could sell out all the land and build a ship to outer space Sick of counting cars, let's count some stars and tally up the waves Oh, I think I need a boat, I think I need a boat Let's build us a boat, oh, I think I need a boat Let's build us a boat and sail away you want to get out of here. Some days you wish they would just be quiet. <laughs> Leave you alone. Stop calling you. It's hard to get away from things like that. Maybe it was my iPhone that I was mad at that day. <laughs> Maybe it was technology and it being so accessible. Although that's been a wonderful thing too. So uh, we got some rain here today. You got some major rain in Bismarck. Yeah, we were kind of thirsty out west, and, and when you're a person, of course, who grew up in North Dakota or Montana or South Dakota or maybe anywhere in the Midwest, when you see each other on the street, you always talk about the weather, right? You have nothing else to say. You can always say, geez, a nice day out there, or boy, we sure could use some rain. <laughs> That's what we always say. The important word is geez. Geez. <laughs> geez or boy, yeah, sure. And... Uh, but we're always talking about the rain. We never have enough of it or we have too much of it. It never comes at the right time. 
Um, but I like it regardless, and no matter what, we'll always take it. And so I thought I needed a song that was dedicated to a good thunderstorm. And uh, one of my favorite things about a, like an August rain is maybe you're working outside and it's really hot, or maybe June, maybe uh, you're farmers and you have to get the crop in and so you're panicked, but you get a break because it's raining and there's nothing you can do about it because we cannot control the weather no matter how much we talk about it. So you are hot and you're stressed and you're working and you have all these things to do and then the skies open up and they rain on you and you just have to go inside. And we know who's in control then, right? So I sat down and I love that and I love the smell of it and I love watching thunderstorms come in over the prairie or down in the trees watching them and I like to leave the door open a little bit and let the rain come in our house just a little bit. <laughs> Clean things up in there. Uh, sat by my window during a thunderstorm and wrote this song. It's called Rainy. Sun beats down Turning my pale skin brown And I have been cold for months I turn my face up I hear the thunder crack Heavy drops lick at my bed I think how nice it is That I could cool down like this So it's raining And lightning It's thundering oh, 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 oh. It's raining We can't get the crop in Come on and sit down Steam roll. 
bubbles from your coffee cup Held by your calloused hands Oh, I like these change of plans I pull your collar up This weather is like I Can't you just smell it? That fresh cut grass that you hurried to mow so you could beat the storm. <laughs> All of those little things, those little things that are unique to our area are what's my favorite thing about uh, writing music here. And even when I was traveling and um, going up and down the Midwest and you know as far as Texas and back again, and, we all kind of shared those certain things in common, especially us rural, ki rural kids. And I think uh, that kind of lends itself to this song. This is kind of a punchy song. This is kind of one of those songs where I had an have an attitude, uh, <laughs> which I have someday. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not with strangers, just with the people I love and know the most. <laughs> My husband uh, wouldn't admit it. Uh, to you, but uh, he's known me since I was 12, so he knew what he was getting into. I don't feel bad for him. <laughs> uh, but uh, so out there, you know, like I said, he used to be quiet. Uh, and we have all these people going up and down our road. Sometimes you get a little cranky about it. So I was driving to uh, Williston uh, from Watford one day, and actually our roads are getting a lot better. But in order to make all this infrastructure, they have to take some of your favorite hills away or some of the, um, you know, I like the sunflowers. They're weeds, actually, but I like them in the ditches. And everything <laughs> seems like it's just so dirty right now, and they're just kind of leveling things off and making, making room for progress, and it's all going to be fine in the end. But I just had a vision of my dad out there sticking up a posted sign <laughs> on the whole place. It's like, hang on, this place is ours. This is called posted. Rolling down the wild slows, trimming up the trees, domesticating wild dogs, setting tame things free up. Sticking on the price tag, widening in the ditch. Sticking on the price tag, someone should owe me so. Whoa, whoa. This place is posted. This place is haunted by your ghost. I hear you knocking. Walking trails and cutting roads I know that you've got big plans But I know places they will never go You say you know what cold is It gets under your skin You don't know about long nights Or how they keep you in a oh. You don't know about porch lights with bled to keep them on. You don't know our reasons will be here when you're gone. Oh. Whoa, whoa. This place is posted. This place is haunted by your ghost. I hear you knocking. Walking trails and cutting roads. I know that you got big plans, but I know places they will never go. Oh, oh. oh kicking up, kicking up, kicking up dust. Shine a thing, shine a thing, shine a thing's rust. Who you think, who you think pays 
Thanks for this stuff. I'll listen a minute, then I'm going out and put my signs up. This place is posted. This place is haunted by your ghost. I hear you knocking, walking trails and cutting roads. That you got big plans, but I know places they will never go. Fence for staff to fence post, dug into the dirt, wire against the hands of real men who work. Lay down all your weapons, shoes back on your street. All the words invented could not convince me. This place is posted. This place is by your ghost. This place is posted. This place is posted. This place is haunted by your ghost. I hear you knocking. You're walking trails and cutting roads. You got big plans, but I know places they will never go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what about these guys, huh? Yeah, they can really make me sound cool. This, these are members of the Frog Holler String Band back here. I, uh, they play every Tuesday night at the Laughing Sun Brewery and everywhere else around town. They're like the guys to know, and I'm so lucky to know them. So thank you. Thanks for being here. Over here is my dad, if you haven't, if you came in late. <laughs> and this is my friend, very, very good friend. I grew up playing music with him, Mike Andrewd. Dad and Mike played in bands together, and Mike, I, I found an old video of us playing when I was like, Mike's been with me since the beginning of my little musical journey because he, Dad traded my, his guitar for a saxophone to Mike, and then traded the sax of, no, the guitar, I can't remember, the saxophone back for the guitar or something. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> Mike remembers every guitar. So saxophone was not my instrument, lucky for all of you. <laughs> it is how I met my husband, though, in band class, and I went to country school and uh, played the saxophone and then got to come to town school, sit next to this kid who was totally, I thought, was just the biggest goofball, and he played the saxophone as well, and his name was Chad, and I think he got detention that day. I'm pretty sure he did. <sighs> I'm going to play a song, uh, one of my favorites from the last album, Nothing's Forever. I met uh, uh, John and Robert uh, when I worked at, uh, with, and the Frog Holler String Band, when I worked with Makoche Studio in Bismarck when I did my last album, Nothing's Forever, when I first moved back home. And uh, it was one of those projects I didn't know if I was gonna do another CD ever again in my life. I thought I was gonna grow up and get a real job with insurance and all of that stuff that you're supposed to do. <laughs> and then I moved back to the ranch and started wandering around and thought, well, maybe I'll keep doing this music thing. I got a lot of things to say. And so I went to Makoche and I uh, did a 13 track album and that uh, I, some of you have, have some favorite songs off of that. But the funniest one that I think I didn't even al almost didn't make it on the album was a song about my one eyed pug basically and the misfit dogs that I brought to the, the ranch with me. And I can just imagine what my parents thought when I unloaded those 105 pound lab and a one eyed pug out into the prairie. Well, the pug had two eyes when it came to the ranch. <laughs> He got a fortunate incident with a porcupine, and then he only had one. Uh, and now he's hitchhiked his way to, I'm sure, some trucker's passenger seat because I haven't seen him for a long time. But I'm pretty sure he's fine. <laughs> so I got myself a proper cow dog now. But uh, I just wrote he, a, a he call. He has his issues too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he has. <laughs> yeah, you're. I know. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, they all have issues, don't they? And we all have issues because we love them so much. Yes. 
Uh, but uh, so I was. I wrote my column on Sunday. It'll come out about about all these dogs and and us girls walking up the coulee with these cow dogs, and you wouldn't be scared of a dang thing. You wouldn't be scared of a snake. Uh, what else could eat you out there? I don't know. The neighbors, wild pigs, didn't care. We had the dogs. And so it got me thinking, there's all these stories about man's best friend, but a girl, a girl needs a dog. Crumbs drop to your kitchen floor and then the tears a little more. Days that seem to last too long You reach for him A girl needs a dog Words aren't said to anyone He warms your feet just softly at home Listening to your quiet songs Big ears, big heart A girl needs a dog a girl needs a dog in times like these, some hope and a plan, clarity. A girl needs a biker, her own car keys. A girl needs a dog. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. That go bump in the night, oh, slamming doors, a stupid fight. Someone who understands who's wrong, you're climbing bed. A girl needs a dog, yes, she does. A girl needs a dog in times like these, some hope and a plan, clarity. A girl needs a biker, her own car keys, a girl needs a dog. Open up, run, run fast. A friend to always come along, no matter what. A girl needs a dog in times like these, some hope and a plan. Clarity. A girl needs a biker, her own car keys. A girl needs a dog. Hey, hey. sarcastically end that song by saying it was the only love song I've ever written. But I have some love songs on this album, so now that's a lie. And this next one is one of them. Um, when you're a girl like me, you have to ha be married to a flexible, understanding man. <laughs> because uh, being a musician and a writer is not one of those jobs where you go to work at 8 in the morning and come home at 5. And if you get into a job like that, it's miserable <laughs> for someone like me. Or it can be, and it has been. And so I uh, married a man who's known me since I was a little girl. And I do a lot of leaving and being gone because that's what you have to do when you're a singer and a writer and you're trying to uh, get to people's ears. And it makes it so worth it when all these ears come out to hear what we have to say. And so I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I've been, he's been with it with me for a long time. Chad has. And those of you who have been reading my um, columns and my stories um, maybe have known the struggle that we've had to have a family. 
but I wanted to announce tonight that we are going to have a baby at the end of November. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, little tiny dreams, if you hang on long enough, come true, I guess. So I have to figure out how to play the guitar out to here. I don't know how they do it, but I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike will give me a contraption. <laughs> I think they have it figured out for me over here. But I would like to play this song. This is a song I wrote for my husband. This is called Last Leaving Song. This is my last. This is my last leaving song. My last cigarette, my last promise not kept. The last time I leave home without you. Come the winter. Come winter and snow falling fast. Come winter to freeze all these traveling things. It's the last time I dig myself out Cause oh, what the heart does To keep us at home and our feet on the ground Let the wind catch my wings, I am through wandering Cause I'm better when you are On rails, on lines, on men Stairs, this head Keys on turn Time's not burning When you're here no looking back in the morning in the morning I'll fix your cup of coffee with cream and a promise to be there for you when you Thank you very much. So if only he were here to have heard that. <laughs> I didn't tell him I wrote, he, he doesn't think I write music about him. I said, I didn't know that was about me. I said, well, you don't listen. <laughs> But isn't that the thing? I think the common uh, denominator in all the music that I write and what I love to do so much is that we all have shared these human conditions and we have all these characters in our life or all these experiences in our life. And um, maybe why love songs are so popular is because we all know what that's like and how much it, it can change your life and how much it can hurt you. And this is another, what am I doing? Oh, I was skipping ahead. So. Okay, we're going to pull you out of that. It's <laughs> enough of that. Uh, so this is a song I wrote, actually. Uh, when you grow up out in the country, uh, 
in on a ranch, your parent, and you have to drive 30 miles into town. When I was growing up, our parents didn't buy me or any of my friends any kind of fancy car, right? We had to get to town. It was before cell phones. Maybe we had a giant bag phone to call from when we got to the top of a mountain. If we could find one and tell them that we were coming home from the football game. But I drove a 1982 pink Ford LTD that had to put oil in every morning and um, probably after school. Uh, most of the time after school. <laughs> Dad bought it from his Uncle Pa for like $1,000 or something, and it's still on the farm <laughs> in a coolie somewhere probably. <laughs> but I was driving by the high school the other day, or when I wrote, when I had an idea for this song, and I was looking at these cars in the parking lot, and I was thinking, first of all, these kids are 16, and they let them drive? <laughs> These kids are driving to school, like they let me drive when I was 15, 16. And then also, these cars are nicer than my car. And um, it got me thinking how different, uh, I had a song on my first album called Driving, and it was like one of those um, like get out of town songs where you're a teenager and you're like, I'm just gonna drive out of here. This song is the same, only written uh, while I was thinking like, oh my gosh, we all survived driving when we were teenagers. Um, and so that's how I'm getting old and we're more responsible. <laughs> so this is called Kids in Cars. And um, if you want to stand up and- It's called Payback. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm scared. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, if our kids are anything like Chad, I'm scared as hell. <laughs> so I got six months to prepare. <laughs> All right, boys. You guys can get up and shake your booty if you want. Kept running, shoes laced up nice and tight. Caught a bus to nowhere, stayed up way past midnight. Oh, but she's kissing in back seats, flicking out those cigarettes. When you are 16, it don't matter what mama said. We're just kids and cars, say we went. No wild thing on wheels should have this much fun We don't know better, don't know it won't last We're just kids in cars driving around way too fast Oh Roll cards, cracked windshield, no money to our name all roads lead nowhere, out here it looks the same oh. Kissing in back seats, flicking out those cigarettes When you are 16, it don't matter what mama said oh, 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 oh. We're just kids and cars, and we went to young No wild thing on we should have this much fun We don't know better Don't know it won't last We're just kids in cars Driving around way too fast Oh, oh They're gonna make us grow up They're gonna make us leave They're gonna make us pay for all our stupid dreams, but we don't want to grow up. We just want to drive a little on the edge, a little more life. Oh, oh. We're just kids and cars, and we went to young. No wild thing on wheels should have this much fun. We don't know better, don't know it won't last We're just kids in cars driving around way too fast oh. 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 Oh.
You know these boys, they, I come to town and we rehearse one night, so. <laughs> it's the starting and the stopping that's hard. <laughs> Everything in the middle comes together. <laughs> so I've had some chances to do some fun things. And every time I play the song, I think of, uh, we got to do a, a cool festival in Montana last summer, and Mike uh, was there with me and some other musicians that I play with. Our neighbor down the road, Kelly Hanna, the yodeling cowboy, came. <laughs> and uh, we played on the stage in the big, under the big Montana sky and shared it with who was all there that weekend. Uh, some cool Charlie people. Pride. Charlie Pride was there. Brandy Carlisle. Uh, my favorite, Jason Isbell. And to be on the bill and on the same poster as those people, yeah, isn't he amazing? I know, he's coming out with a new album. Um, so all of these songwriters that I grew up, grew up or I found along the way um, who seems like, seemed like they grew up, grew up listening to the same kind of music that I was listening to, songs that tell a story. And um, I always liked the characters in the songs. And one of my favorite uh, memories is of dad playing his, uh, it's probably a tape at the time, uh, Lyle Lovett album, uh, Waltz, and it had Waltz and Fool on it. And I don't know if you all listened to that song, but it's about this kind of drunk. It's funny that I liked this when I was <laughs> eight years old, but it's about this drunk kind of misfit guy that everyone knows in the community, and they call him the Waltz and Fool, and it's kind of the stories that you know, <laughs> the stories that people might make up about him, but maybe we don't know the real thing. And uh, so I like that you could see a person uh, in that song, and so I think I, was, I kind of strive for that to grab a character, and, and that's kind of what this song is about. This is a song called Jiggity Jig. Uh, and it's kind of based on that nursery rhyme, come home again, home again, jiggity jig. And uh, I write, of course, from a woman's perspective. And I remember growing up, and everyone was always asking you when you're going to leave this place and never come back, right? And because if you leave this place, it surely means that you are more successful if you come back to this place. And the tables are turning a little bit. Um, but when you grow up and you have your life, some, some, t some days I think uh, women I know wonder what happened to their life. And so that's what this song is about. This is called Jiggity Jig. She takes that Chevy on the back roads in the morning. Fastest way to work and home again. Picks up the children and the paychecks and the groceries, keeps them fed. No time for dreaming now, it's time for bed. She knows when to expect him and what to make for breakfast. Thinks a woman should know better things by heart. Million little stories put together for a reason. She plays the part. Tomorrow's coming down, a brand new start. Night don't get better in the morning, it gets brighter. And she knows the story from both ends. What you have to gain, you have to lose when you're a fighter. And Angie, don't you think this world's too big? Come home again, jiggity jig. Once she tried to make it to the big stage from the basement, when she had a couple catchy lines. And then she loved somebody, and then they had a baby nine to five. Don't talk to Angie about wasting time. She spends her time in movies and the love there and on TV Teaching other people's kids to dance And somewhere in between the dirty dishes and the laundry she missed a chance Don't say it's not too late, she'll say she can't The night don't get better in the morning, it gets brighter And she knows the story from both ends you have to gain, you have to lose when you're a fighter And Angie, don't you think this world's too big Come home again, jiggity jig When you are a young girl, they tell you you are pretty When you're an old woman, you are wise Somewhere in between 
between those fairy wings and no tired stories you get by. Oh, you get by. Oh, you get by. It's not that she don't love him. It's not that she's so tired. It's not that she thought things were better then. Just sometimes late at night when all the lights are down, it's quiet, she lets it in. Oh, close your eyes tight, girl, and find yourself again. Night don't get better in the morning, it gets brighter. And she knows the story from both ends. What you have to gain, you have to lose when you're a fighter. And Angie, don't you think this world's too big? Come home again, jiggity jig. Thank you. Are you ready, Mike? This is one of the only songs I ever wrote sitting at my kitchen table looking out the window on a fall afternoon. This is about all the seasons that love has. This is called Make Me. Make me a steady hand Reaching out across the valley Reaching out to make you happy Make me promises Then make me a wrecking ball Then I'll come and crash and swing in Making all that you believe in Somehow broken down Make me everything I am And nothing more than that Make me all that we are now And we're becoming Oh, you make me come running Oh, 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 oh. Outside my window now All the leaves have turned to golden Waiting for the wind to blow And bring the cold with it When you were a younger man You used to laugh and turn your face up At all the words I made up There's only one for love Make me say it to you now and that's enough of this Make me open up the door And let the sun in Oh, you make me come running Oh, 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 oh. Enough to lose Walls that do the best they can To hold the truth All the years that pass Like blue sky against the glass Like water through a stream Like a breath onto a breeze It is all that I can see There are mistakes and there are glories Living proof of untold stories You can see it there And on these hands There are lions and callous fingers Left over from the lingering upon your skin Oh, you are mine to hold And I am yours to know we are all that we are now and we're becoming Oh, you make me come running 
Reaching out across the valley, reaching out to make you happy, make me promise it. Thank you very much. How are you all doing up there? You doing good? Yeah. What a fun way to spend a Thursday. I think it's much better than watching, like, The Biggest Loser or whatever is on tonight. Well, maybe. <laughs> I shouldn't have used that. <laughs> that was the wrong choice of TV show, probably. Um, but it sure is fun for me. <laughs> a lot of this music that I've been writing or that I write, of course, is written in the winter months. Um, we talk a lot about the weather up here and, uh, of course, spend a lot of time snuggled up in our house and um, kind of taking it all in and, and just waiting for the summer to come along. Um, get this over my big hair. Uh, we had one of those winters that you just wanted to, to go away a couple winters ago. Um, if you follow kind of what we're doing or what I do, you know that uh, Dad. we had a big scare with Dad. He's standing here right now, so everything's fine. Don't worry. Uh, but we almost lost him, and it was tough, and it was scary, and it was awful. But look at okay. his pants. <laughs> I never told the story when he's standing here. <laughs> but I remember uh, we spent a lot of time in Bismarck when he got out of surgery and uh, ICU, and uh, he was coming back to life, and literally. And it was one of the coldest days of the whole January that you could ever think of. It was my sister and my mom's birthday. And it was probably like 70 below zero, but it might as well have been 1,000 below zero. And um, I thought, well, how fitting. He goes down and the earth freezes up. And as he came back to life, it thawed out and over the week. And I remember driving home with my husband from Bismarck and looking out at the northern lights and thinking, what a gift we have here of hope on a prairie that can be so desolate and a life that can be so cruel that some days we just get what we ask for and we pray for. And so I named the album Northern Lights, and this is a song I wrote about Mr. Gene Veter standing right here. It's not easy to get lost among the wreckage here. They keep finding me and dragging my ass home. And behind me I leave tracks cause the snow keeps coming back. Even by myself I'm not alone. And I'd like to be a man who stands for everything. Then I'd like to just sit quiet for a while But I can't rest these legs There's so much more to do today Funny how a step becomes a mile And it's cold as hell tonight But you should see those northern lights Dancing on the edge of frozen fields If you need to leave, be gone You need to stay, my God, hold on I know this and more than lights have to be real River ain't a promise we were ever made This life can give us more than 
that we could ever take. Guess I'll live to be that old cowboy that said I'd be. Guess I have a few more winters of my sleep. And these birds, they fly on wings. I fly on ordinary things. Like your love and a reason to believe. And it's cold as hell tonight. But you should see those northern lights. Dancing on the edge of frozen fields. If you need to leave, be gone. You need to stay, my God, hold on. I know this in northern lights have to be real. Thank you very much. Now I have to do something else so I don't cry. Must be something to be needed and love that much, Jean, so don't. Um, we're getting to the end of the night, and I thank you so much uh, for being here with us. Um, I'm going to do a couple uh, more, some that you might be, one that you might be familiar with, but I really like the story behind this song because I talk a lot about folk music, but we were doing uh, a, a video for the song Boomtown out in Wofford City, and I don't know if any of you have checked that out, but it's kind of a fun, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> it's kind of a fun one. Uh, we went into the Legion Club, and we filmed people dancing, and um, it was a cast of characters in the Legion Club that night, and uh, I can't even tell you the stories I could tell you, but we can talk over lemonade up there. Uh, but we definitely bring in characters. And uh, oh, during one of our breaks, uh, a guy came up to me, and he, he just kind of looked at me, and he said, Oh, my gosh, you look like a girl I used to love. <laughs> you look like my ex-girlfriend. Just so much you do. And I'm like, Okay. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what do you say? And I said, and she said, I just miss her so much. And I think if I just wouldn't have been such a fool, I would have had her back if she would have asked me to. And then I said, you know, we all have those stories of a lost love, don't we? And um, then I went back and did my thing and came back on break and he did it again. He came out to me. I just can't get over it. <laughs> and then he said her name, oh, Christina. And I went home and sat down and said, well, this guy needs a voice, man. I got to write him a song. And I need to write a song about that Legion Club. So just imagine you're there watching all the dancers and this one sorry soul is reminiscing about his lost love, Christina. Slow night at the Legion Club, the band's all right, I guess. You know I come here after work to drink and just forget. But you made me remember there, your dark hair and brown eyes. You look just like a girl I knew about a hundred million lives ago. Those other men, no, I'm not like the rest of them. My story's not as sad except the part where I get lonesome. Didn't come here for a second chance, didn't come here for forgiveness. No, all my sins I've kept inside a fist and empty pocket. Oh, oh Christina, I would have stayed if she asked me to. So young, but I think we knew 
It's like I'm looking at her when I'm looking at you. If I can buy your drink, I'll ask you about your left hand. Say all sad songs in this whole world start and end with wedding band. I might have got a few things right then, plenty more all wrong. But a boy like me don't have a girl like you waiting at home. Oh, oh Christina, I would have stayed if she asked me to. I'm looking at you. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I'm haunted in every town. There's more memory to burn. Her ghost don't let me down. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Now it's yours. Oh, Christina, I would have stayed if she asked me to. Oh, Christina, we were so young, but I think we knew. It's like I'm looking at her when I'm looking at you. It's like I'm looking at her when I'm looking at you. It's like I'm looking at her when I'm looking at you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Thank you so much. Um, for the kidlets that came, I did bring cookies. You just got two more songs, and then you can eat them, okay? And I didn't bake them, so you are safe. <laughs> and there's lemonade and coffee, and we'll do some CD signing. And if you want, uh, drop a few bills in the free will donation. All your money will go right to this band here, so we want to pay them. So. <laughs> I can't thank them enough for being with me here tonight because uh, they make me look real cool. Let's do a song. I thought you were going to say they make you look young. <laughs> <laughs> and young. <laughs> young and cool and pretty. <laughs> uh, depends on what crowd you're in and how much you feel like that. Uh, let's, do, let's do this song, this song about Boomtown. Donnie's got a truck and he's always here on time Thick buttes and gravel roads Keeps it between two lines Thirty bucks an hour and the pay is good But no time's better spent Than the way your daddy shoots Still he hangs around Shelly don't stop moving till the sun goes down What she wants was she's not What she's lost now found brings them Breakfast in the morning and ice cold beer at night Listens to them talk Breaks up their fights She stands her ground Town. Oh, people 
people lying like houses up and down the street. Bottom line below us, about 10,000 feet. 22 below, we find a better place to go. You'd be here too, you know, you'd hang around. Heard they just got married down in Arkansas Lost a child and a job before I made the call Heard the weather's rough and the houses few Got something for me, sir What's a man to do but try his round? Boomtown Oh, people lying like houses up and down the street Bottom line below us, about 10 thousand feet 22 below you find a better place to go you'd be here too you know you'd hang around oh boom Stopped by the farmhouse the other day Jimmy's moved back home He's helping dad cut hay Pumps in the morning but he gets home by five We almost lost him there But now he's more alive Oh God bless the sound Thank you. Well, you know that song? Thank you, thank you so much. I hope you're all doing okay in the back rooms. I hope we're still looking good. You can't see the sweat. Are you zooming in on us? <laughs> um, that song is about community, and I want to thank the community, of course, of Watford City and these community of musicians that support me and play with me and the community of musicians that I met when I was in Nashville. But also thank you to Bismarck. Um, you've been so supportive of what I do. I had got to be on all the radio stations I could think of today, and thank you to the Heritage Center for having this space and opening it up to live music and supporting local musicians like me and I know uh, Frog Holler String Band and a million other people who just want to play and have things to say, and uh, we need to support them. So thank you for coming out and supporting me. I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> On this album, you're going to hear some great playing. You're going to hear banjo playing and uh, mandolin playing, fiddle playing, dobro playing from one woman named Wanda. And uh, you're going to hear uh, the 
uh, accordion player who plays with Vince Gill and the Time Jumpers. I saw him in concert when I was in Nashville and came back to the studio and said, boy, we saw the Time Jumpers last night. It was pretty amazing. And my producer said, yeah, I'm going to call that accordion player, see if he can't play on your elbow. Uh, so you're going to hear some good accordion, and you're going to hear this song, a song about uh, women. I think about this. Uh, this is the song where a Dad had to sit on the bucket for the video. So it's coming out. <laughs> where did, did we bring your bucket? We well, should. Uh, I think that the women in this song are probably like Shelly in Boomtown. Um, I was writing this song when I was shoveling Scoria in the driveway because no one has showed me or let me get in the bobcat yet. Just like no one has taught me to run a chainsaw because, like Chad said, I would be the only person in the world that would figure out how to cut her own head off with it. So if you don't have the tools, you get some other tools, right? And I was raised by women out there, and I know a lot of you were too, that just rolled up their sleeves and got the work done. My dad's grandma, my great-grandma, was an immigrant from Norway who came over when she was 17 years old to North Dakota, western North Dakota. Uh, her husband rode bike how many miles over to their homestead, like 75 miles on a little bicycle. They had 12 children. And that place is still in the family, and down the road is where he, where my dad's dad met my grandma, Edie. And she raised four kids and uh, countless foster kids in a house that I lived in that I couldn't find space for my cowboy boot collection. I think about these women when I'm whining and complaining about nothing in the deep freeze when clearly there is plenty in the dang deep freeze. This is called Work Girl. Work girl, show me your muscles. Work girl, pull back your hair. Work girl, the day is long. Work ain't going nowhere. Picking rocks and raising babies. Pennies heads up on the street. Muddy boots and no complaining. Gotta keep shoes on their feet. Might be born to be a sinner, might be born to be a saint, might be born to save each other, one born with money in the bank. So work girl, show me your muscles, work girl, pull back your hair, work girl, the day is long, work ain't going nowhere. When I fall, I get back up, taught myself to drive this truck. It shines on all this dirt Pull on your pants, girl, get to work Can't be raised to wait for the day Someone show us what's right Car is broke, oh girl, you fix it You can't fix it, go get your bike Trees need trim and get the chainsaw Gardens planted, horses fed Monday comes, you button up, girl Nine to five and five till then so work girl, don't wait for no man Work girl, can't do what you can Work girl, saw nail and grind Work go build you a life To drive this truck, rains it shines on all this dirt. Pull on your pants, girl, get to her. He can lift it, you can push it. Fix it, nose will so do you. Get some wire and make the lights work. Climb the ladder, get the two. So work, girl, show me your muscles. Work, girl, pull back your hair. Work, girl, the day is long. Work ain't going nowhere. Work girl, don't wait for no man. Can't do it, you can't work girl, so nail and grind. Work girl, build you a life. And work girl, the clock is ticking. Go cut a path. You hear them talking, work girl, go kick some air. Thank you so much.
guys for coming out tonight. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much to these guys. Woo! We'll see you at the CD table. <laughs>